What's up my friends? Welcome back to our blind let's play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Here we are with Geralt and we are here with Roach as well. We are over by this ransacked village, the village we first came in on. And we are going to deal with some of these question marks here. But what I want to do is I want to mark one of these missions. Ooh, the Viper School one. You know, let's mark Temerian Valuables because that seems to be in the general area first. We will head up the road here, do this one, try to trek over to this, 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 and you know, so on. Kind of connecting the dots here with question marks. Let's read the Temerian Valuables quest though, because that is indeed the next one we want to get. Whenever I would ask the Witcher for his opinion concerning my latest sonnet, elegy or even couplet he'd always claim he had it in the time yet time he had a plenty when it came to reading letters found on corpses or lying around monster nests <laughs> okay one over here giving dandelion the cold shoulder but when it comes to reading notes on dead fucking enemies he'll definitely read that that's Geralt for you perhaps that was because they unlike my writings often proved the path to significant riches to whom it may concern by order of the Legion Commander. The men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenfurt, where they will find a Redanian division waiting for them. As noble-born Tamarians, they are under special protection, and not a hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed the order to perish in Accelerated Military Tribunal, Riddle, or Wittenberg... Alright, well that one is... The next one we attempt to do. Get up. Let's go ahead and get over here to this question mark, though. Get that on board. Are we going the right way? Move it. Come on, Roach. Hopefully, it's like bandits or something. I want to see if we can fight them on the horse. But well, it's definitely out yeah, here. We go, bandit camp. Come here. Oh, Roach is lining him up. Get him, Roachy. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Roach can just uh, pretty much one shot him, huh? All right, well, let me go ahead and get down, Roach. Have a good day, girl. Take it easy. Thanks for the bloodbath. Hey, friend. Want some fun? <laughs> Want some fucking flames? Come on in, sucker. Look at that repose. I'm getting it. Off with your head. See you later. Alrighty. We're gonna get so much gear, probably. And just lootable stuff, depending on how much bandits we are actively killing here. We're probably going to kill all of White Orchard. Was that it? Just that little chest? What's up, Roach? Was there anything... Let's see if there's anything down here. I see stuff down there, but it doesn't look like it's lighting up. That's fine. Let's go ahead and move out then. Let's see, what can we do next? Let's go ahead and do this one. This one looks like an ac look, whoa. It looks like a stronghold over here. Cackler Bridge, you know, I wanna kinda go down here. What is this? That looks like some kind of something. I wanna go down here and check underneath this bridge, this waterfall area. Come here, Roach. Let's get out of here. More bandits to be fucking wrecking, I'm sure. Oh, Roach, can you jump off this? You won't even do it. He's like, I'm not doing Oh. Can we just fall? Come on. Go ahead. Yeah. Just go ahead and fall. It's all right. I believe in you, Roach. <laughs> Trick to Roach. You see her? He's sliding down the fucking hill. Oh, hell yeah, Rochi. All right, well, we're here. All right, well, let's just keep running forward then. 
<laughs> These question marks are going to be so interesting. Oh, we have like a path here. Fucking free ride through the woods at top breakneck speed, Roach. There we go. I guarantee there has to be something here. There's always something under bridges, friends. There's always something under bridges or something in waterfalls in every game. It's like the rainbow. It's like something... Oh, I told you, see? Go to the end of a rainbow, you'll find a pot of gold. Smoking pipe. And a lesser rune. Hey, that's something. Them runes sell for a good deal, so I'm happy to get runes. I'm just going to sell them all. I don't really know which one is actually beneficial. We do need to keep some, though. To be honest with you, I've been selling them so much that I don't even know what kind of runes we even have. I know the stun one sounded interesting. And I believe there was a sign intensity one, too. But I'm sure that in time, we will probably... What the hell was that? In time, we'll probably get a bunch more runes. Really good ones. Probably some that are very in-depth. All right, well, let's get possibly down here and up. Can you go up here, Roach? Oh, you almost had it. Whoa. Let me see if I can jump and grab the cliffs here. There you go, Geralt. Fucking horse can't get up there, but Geralt can. All right, well, let's see here. Ooh. This is a, a regular glyph, though, and this one's like a lesser... But look at that. 5% Quen Intensity? Let's go ahead and... Let's put some bombs on board. Dancing Star. Grape Shot. Let's put Grape Shot on. And... Dancing Star. Then let's go ahead and get... Necrophage Oil on because it's probably more ghouls here. It seems to be the only enemies here is like ghouls. Spectres and just like bandits. Come on in, Roach. We gotta get out of here, girl. Bandits are fucking a plague. What do we have here? See you, Roach. This tech. Oh my. <laughs> People are gonna buy fist deck in this? Geralt, you're gonna be a fucking drug dealer. <laughs> fucking Witcher cocaine over here, friends. Was that it? I wonder if we can open this, though. Yeah, we can. This is the one where the signpost was. And then, yeah, right here. All right, well, whatever that was blocking, it's definitely blocking it no more. Come on in, Tamarians. Take back fucking your land. How close are we to... This little stronghold-looking area? Oh, what's all the way up there? Goodness. Well, let's just run, huh? Can't be any slower than Roach. Oh, there's a bunch. Maybe we should rethink this. Oh, with it. I already know what rethink it. Let's just go in there. Fucking headstrong, baby. Look at all of them. Don't let him touch his breath. Don't be a witcher. Oh, fucker. We got the bandit leader. We got some people creeping in the back. Let's get him. He's done. That's fine. Oh, we poisoned him. See ya. Oh, damn. Hey, man. Let's see some raw scabby meat. Oh. Color Nation. Get our Quinn back on board, eat some more fucking meat. Curses. 
Let's see if we can get him over here. It's a little bit easier to see over here. Oh, nice one, Geralt. Again, stuck it right in his ass. Come on in, deserter. Don't let him catch his breath. Don't be a I don't think so. Man, I love the squaring up here. It's so fucking good. The squaring up the people. It calls for a lot of um being able to watch the maneuvering of the enemies perfectly. It's not just diving and diving and diving and diving. Kind of how the second game was. Plop! See ya! Goodness. Motherfuckers got a dumpling. Alright, well, the stronghold is over here. Let's go ahead to the bodies first to make sure we're getting everything. Look at this guy. Sorry, friend. He's got no legs or nothing. Oh, that is fucking crazy looking. It is absolutely absurd. Close your eyes. Dimeridium ore. Ooh. More fist tech. Here, well, you, I'm telling you, let's just, let's just pile up. Maybe we can find Jethro again. Jethro would fucking, he would make us a killing. Amateur's repair kit. You know, I haven't really used any of them yet. But I did see that there are repair kits, so I'm wondering that's probably something we would do, say, if we're on a long trek, as in like this. I feel like this is going to be a long trek before we can actually hit a merchant. And it's something... Oh, more fist stack. Something we use out and about. Look at all this. This is actually kind of nice. These bandits had it made in here. Silver teapot. I bet we can get a good penny for that. Hunting gauntlets? Ooh, let's look at them. Because I did pick up gauntlets recently. You know, that's actually an upgrade here. Kinda. How do I... Preview? Oh, hold shift. Yeah, it's an upgrade. Let's go ahead and put them on. Is this the five? There you go, girl. You actually match a little bit more. You still got your 80 socks hanging out your fucking shoes. <laughs> Is there nothing in here? That was it, huh? Oh, there's a letter. So, the letter. To His Excellency Velarad, Lord Mayor of Vazima. Oh, it's about Velarad. Your Excellency, we can wait no longer. The scouts say the Black Ones are already ready in their siege equipment. If you wish to escape with your life, please present yourself at the Vizima Temple Corridor sewers entrance tomorrow at the crack of dawn. There is not much room on the boat, so take with you your closest family and most valued treasures. I shall provide a few men to act as a guard, but not too many, for I do not wish to attract unwanted attention. We shall sail through Black Saw, Stonemore, White Orchard, and Charles. From there, we shall continue on horseback Yannick, Dalen, Yannick. Does that name sound familiar? I feel like we heard it, but maybe not. P.S. Don't tell anyone about your flight. We do not wish to arouse panic. What's this book? You know, while we're in here, let's just read it. His Imperial Majesty Amir Var and Reese. Amir Var and Reese rules to expand. He has trained his strategic brilliance on a singular vision to conquer the world, though he rightly calls this not conquest, but salvation. Yes, the Emperor Nilfgaard sets the world a light with the torch of civilization. Cramplin is still warm corpses of his father's usurpers. The emperor seized the throne and began to assimilate the northern realms one after the other. Terror engulfed the north. Only the Battle of Brenna slowed the imperial army's march toward victory. A temporary peace then took hold, though none believed this mirage would last. Amir's aim to make the north a vassal of Nilfgaard remained unchanged. Amir used peace as a cover to intensify his political efforts. Now all can see the results. Chaos and disorder devouring the Nordlink states. Ridden with eternal bickering and backstabbing, they near collapse. Only a strong ruler can grapple the dysfunction into function. Only a wise ruler can give vision to their blindness. Only Amir Var Emrys can save the North. So... Our armies have again crossed the Yoruga for the third and final time. 
Well, they are definitely here. You know, Velarad's letter there said something about fleeing Vizima, so it makes me wonder if Vizima is actively taken. Because I could imagine if Vizima is taken by Nilfgaard, then Temeria is fucking no more. Completely. That is their, you know, their capital of Vizima, isn't it? Or the capital of Temeria, it's Vizima. And I, I'm not really sure if it is the capital, because it may very well not be. But that is definitely the biggest place in Vizima, probably. And if Vizima's taken, well, that's, let's just say that's where the king was at. So, long story short, if Vizima is taken, then the north or Temeria is fucking gone. That makes me feel bad, man. Poor Foltest. If you just didn't get killed, full test, it would be so cool to have you here, friend. Alright, well, that was it, then. Oh, no, you didn't come over here and buzz in my ear, friend. These actually sell for a pretty penny to that herbalist lady, so... They're definitely worth getting, it seems. This is done. Let's go ahead and trek to this one now. But let's get on Roach, perhaps. Geralt's a bit tired after all that shit. And it takes about 20 years to get to where he's gonna go. What's up, Roachy? Move it! You guys see them fucking kills on Roach? Oh my. That was so awesome. Come on, Roach, you're getting stuck here. Let's go. Oh, Roach, maybe Geralt should just ran. Jeez. Oh. Get out. Let's get fire on board here. I don't think so, wolves. Oh, Lee. Take a swallow, cuz. Man, wolves are rough. I think it's just the. Time to end. Goodness. Hang in there, Geralt. Almost forgot where the block button was. Ooh. Let's just regen here. As best we can. We got a few down. We need to get the warg out, because I think it's pulling in more. Geralt can destroy any monster, but when it comes to wolves, they take our fucking lunch money, friends. There's more over there, too. We have one over there. It's probably going to sneak in on us at some point, but that's fine. Let's head over here. Wait, that's, that's not where we're going. We need to go up here. Right? Getting lost in the beautiful wilderness. Oh, my word. We totally went the wrong way. Come here, Rochi. Let that wolf be. Oh, he's pissed. All ass, Roach. Oh, it's right here. Hidden treasure. Come on in, Wolfie. Hidden fucking treasure. Ooh. Hmm. Strange. We have a corpse here. It's red, but... Spies notes. Let's go ahead and read that. 15th day of observation, 23rd of Burke. Back in the camp. Brought in heaps of plunder, mostly armor and weapons, but this time a sealed chest too. Towards dusk, a man delivered rations of food and drink. 16th day of observation, 24th of Burke. Messenger arrived in the camp before dawn, caused quite a stir. They immediately organized a group to transport a chest. After dusk, I'll try to track down where they carried it. 17th day of observation, 25th of Burke. Didn't move the case that far away just to the abandoned hut near the old mill. Set up a watch so I wasn't able to get closer. 18th day of observation, 26th of Burke. 
Every man in the camp has been drinking since yesterday afternoon. If we attack now, we'd obliterate them. Too bad the commander only sent one man, me, to this outpost. I'll try to sneak in tonight. If fortune smiles on me, perhaps one man will be enough. Well, this gentleman got destroyed. Let's go and track deserter's gold then. Let's look at the journal. We already read this. This part. Discipline is the backbone of every army. Everything must be written down. Every order signed in archive and triplet. This proved a boon to Geralt on one occasion when he came across a document written in a soldier's hand. It was sparse and contained few details, but what it did divulge was intriguing to say the least. Well, there it is. So let's do that next. Because that's probably in the area here, closer than Temerian Valuables. Oh, it's in the same exact spot as Temerian Valuables, then. That is great to know, because that's like two birds, one stone thing. This whole merchant here, or this spy, I wonder what... Hey, wolf. You guys like to fight? Hmm. Well, it's telling us to Igni here. Maybe burn the corpse? Oh, that was the fire telling me to do Igni. You know, I'm not seeing what to do. Maybe it's just still staying there. Usually the reds go away when you check it, right? Or there's footprints somewhere. Let's keep looking. Or let's just haul ass to the next place. <laughs> See you, Rochi. More bandits, probably. Another hidden treasure here, but it looks like wolves. Like that silver. Oh, you fuckers! Let's get fire on board. You know, I'm gonna take a Tony Owl because wolves are a son of a bitch. Just burn him up, Geralt. Goodness. Alan, I did. Geralt, you had like no HP there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hang in there. Get him, Roach. Ooh. You know, I'm not complaining, but that one HP, whatever it is, just saved my ass, friends. A <laughs> bunch of trousers. Geralt, you can't just have one pair. Oh, that was an Erden thing. Oh, I think we're stuck. And this one is right here. Maybe this is the chest then. Scrolled notes. We have a saddle. Vermilion and precise bolt. We'll have to check out that saddle. Let's read these ones now. Scrolled notes. Things are going better and better for us. We pitched camp in the heart of the forest near the old mill and have already done quite nice for ourselves. Folk are poor, so they say, but squeeze them and something always pops out. Sack of grain here, a few coins here. Not bad for easy work, certainly better than the army. At least we've got something to fill our bellies and the risk that we'll pay for this all with our lives. Well, it's still less than when we were charging the Nilfs at Natalis' order. So Natalis is still at large, probably. That's very good. It's unfortunate that these guys just are turning on their own countrymen and just robbing everyone here. That's just crazy. So dirty funds. What the fuck was that quest? Girl found a camp, but deserters refused to surrender their treasure without a fight. They attacked the Witcher at once, which proved a fatal error. Geralt vanquished them without any trouble, searching the camp and found a sizable cache of valuables. So this must have been the bigger camp over there because these little smaller camps here have been nothing but wolves. So that it had to be the other one. All right, well, we have a lot of stuff here, and this is going to be awesome. Oh, nooks of just everything. All types of stuff. Come on, Roach, get on me. Or let me get on you. You're not riding me, Roach. It 
It looks like a whole farm here. Them notes said something about a burned down hut by the mill. It's probably in that hut, the valuables there. But let's go ahead around this area first. More hunting trousers and a bunch of shit. Can we get up there? Guess not. More runes? Thank you, sir. Just, they're so numerous. And they don't just sell a little bit, friends. They sell a lot. I'm getting the gist of how this game actually wants you to make money. I'm thinking like, let's look at the inventory. I'm thinking like the game almost wants you to break down this shit and sell all the numerous runes that you get because it kind of like almost evens out because that has what happened to my money basically so far. I've broken down so much stuff, but I went ahead and sold these runes and it literally almost evened it out, but kind of gave me a little bit more. It's definitely the gist of it. So we'll have as much um, schematics and mats as we could fucking want, basically. We're just breaking down that stuff, but then sell the runes and you can go ahead and just make money. But then again, doing all these little question marks give us money too, so. Is there nothing in here? I don't see anything. Oh, there's... Oh, there's a red door down there. Can't fucking hide from Carol. Open up, suckers! Calvary boots. There you go, Carol. Enhanced saddle. This is deserter's gold here. Ryzen... Beast oil. Oh, that would come in handy for all these wolves. Wenvin? Wenvil? What's this one? Camarian valuables. Camarian rye, special forces insignia, and scribbled document. We just got two quests done for the price of one. Let's go ahead and read that. I mean, no wonder we're losing this war with cowardly cunts for soldiers. All it took were a few arrows and a wallop of a mace for seasoning. And that was that. Battle was over. The whole convoy was ours for the picking. Maybe they were having such a hard time of it because of all that vodka they were carrying. Our brave warriors must have taken a sip from time to time with obvious results. When you're seeing double, it's damned hard to hit your target. Take everything we gather to the cubby, then fence it as quick as you can, except the showy parade shit. You'll have to bury or burn that. I reckon someone might recognize the insignia, and then there'd be trouble. Chaos. The Temerians that were here that were trying to go to Oxenford obviously were probably destroyed, and they took all their fucking valuables. So I'm actually feeling a bit more happier that we are... Taking out all these fucking bandits. Can we take this? Look at this gold fucking chalice. Take it, Geralt. Sell it off. All right, well, let's look at the journal friends because we don't really have fucking much. Treasure hunts. Let's do the viper gear. While traveling the downtrodden lands of Velen and former Temeria border regions, Geralt found clues about the locations of a set of diagrams for crafting the legendary equipment once worn by the Viper School of Witchers. Motivated by curiosity and the prospect of acquiring these priceless objects, he decided to pursue this lead. All right, well, let me look at something here. Deserter's Gold. We did already read that one, yeah. And Temerian Valuables. Carol didn't really expect to find anything in the mill, but decided to search it nonetheless. His decision paid off, clearly. The Marians have been forced to abandon this site in a hurry and left their treasure behind. Now it all belongs to the Witcher. So they must have left then. These bandits didn't kill him. All right, well, that's all I want to know. Thank you. Well, we don't really have much more friends. We just have these ones. Actually, I think what I want to do, since this is tailored to a quest, let's mark these. Kind of skirt this way. Check these houses. Well, we have something down here first. Let's... And then we have a bunch of stuff over here, too. Alright, Roach, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go! Let's see what this is. Oh, it's just signpost thingies. Signpost for the inn. Whoa. Or to the mill. 
Can we actually hit them bees? Damn, Roach, sorry. I don't think we can. Oh, there we go. All right, let me look at the map here. Because if you hover over this stuff, it tells you a little write-ups here. Cartol grain from all the surrounding villages to White Orchard's Mill. Well, let's see if there's anyone that's actually worth a write-up. So named because of a girl who once would stand on the bridge and sing, waiting for her beloved's return. Wo Song Bridge. Oh, this is cool little write-ups, actually. The strategic point guards, White Orchard Main River Crossing, Nilfgaardian troops have taken it over. White Orchard is famous not only for premium fruit, but also the top quality furniture grade lumber harvested from the Volpine Woods. The bridge was destroyed by retreating to Marian troops during the Nilfgaardian attack. It was shoddily built to begin with. Good riddance. <laughs> These are cool little write-ups. I like this. It's giving us a little uh, insight on the areas here. A few years ago, a group of armed men marched into the settlement. They butchered its inhabitants and burned down the homes. Not a soul has dwelt here since the Black and Bloody Day. Before the war, merchants and travelers would cross the river here. Now only Nilfgaardian soldiers traverse this path. A band of soldiers attacked this village early. One morning, they slaughtered most of the villagers in their beds, and luckily few who fled the woods in time, nothing left to return to. This road splits. One fork leads to Vizima, other to Novigrad. Bridge named in honor of a woman who went mad from unfulfilled love. After her heart snapped, she spent all her days running up and down the bridge while laughing hysterically. Oh my word. <laughs> They called her the Cackler? Holy lady running up and down the bridge laughing hysterically and people are saying, Oh, the Cackler's fucking at it again. Look at it. <laughs> we gotta read more of them in our travels. But that was indeed pretty fucking cool. Come on, Roach, let's get over go, here. We go. got some more killing to be had. I think we're gonna be able to get all this stuff done. White Orchard Cemetery. Oh. Wait a minute, what's up here? We have a tiny little village thingy, majiggy. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. Get me off of here. Fishing rod. I still don't think we can fish. Maybe it's just some uh, like a a valuable that we can kind of sell off or break down. It doesn't look like we can fish, anyways. Can't get in there. So everything is just pretty much abandoned everywhere. All right, Rochi, let's get on out of here, girl. By the time you get over to me, I'll probably be there. <laughs> she is stuck on the fucking house back there. Okay, let's just haul ass there. Girl, you're, you're just as fast as a horse. Look, <laughs> Roach is behind us. She can't even catch us. Oh, monster nest. Let's take a... Necrophage oil. And then get in here and whoop some fucking ass. It looks mm, like magic. A place of power. A place of power, baby. Come on in. Hey man, take it easy. Don't think so, Ghoulie. Oh, I got him stuck. Was that it? Fucking wrecked him. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy yeah, it. Let's just destroy it then. There was only two there. Let's see if another one comes out again. Get a little distance. Yeah. It's like if you run away a little bit, they another one comes out. Maybe that one was just bugged or something. Because these two seem to spawn more ghouls. And then we get XP for it. Interesting. So you technically don't take out the thing with blowing it up. You have to wait for that goal, extra goal to spawn because of the extra XP. I don't know. Let me know on that one because it was over here by where me and Vesemir came in. Is that one bugged? Because I will literally go over there and try to run around it again. 
The one over here by the crossroads. Not the one on the battlefield, because that's the first one we've seen, but this one here. I don't know. Al Ghoul's Marrow, Monster Color and Ghoul's, but oh, we didn't get a ring. That's fine. But we are getting another ability here. I absolutely love the additions of these places of power and giving you um, ability points here. Character, let's go to... You know... What is this one? Because we this is level 4 and we are level 3. We might want to consider actually getting a different ability. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this Griffin School thing. I feel like I want to do the Griffin. I want to do Median Armor. But I know that's going to be rough because I want that Temerian Valuable or that Temerian Armor over there. But that's Light Armor. So getting this might be a waste. But I want that Stamina Regeneration. I kind of need it. You can definitely feel it. Especially if you run out of Tawny Owls. But what is this one? Bear school techniques? Each piece of heavy armor increases maximum vitality and 5% strong attack damage. I would love to do that because I actually like the strong attacks better than the light attacks, but it's honestly a little hard to use the strong attacks for some reason. When you're not actively... If you're not locked on, it seems like the bear... Or not the bear, the heavy attacks are kind of hard to hit. But maybe it's just me getting used to this stuff. So I think I want to get the Griffin school though. It just seems a bit more interesting. I know this one sounds more beneficial with the way that we fight. But that Griffin school though. For now, we'll just get one more of these. We probably don't really need it right now. And then the next one after that, I I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Let's go ahead and upgrade this again. And that is four. Goodness. So one more will give you... Increases potion over his threshold from 75 to 100. What I'm getting at this is if we take potions, we never overdose. The overdose threshold is 100. So the only thing I can think of the way that sounds is we just take stuff nonstop and then we'll never overdose, I guess. Because how Garrett was in the first game, when he was overdosed, his health would slowly go down. So I'm guessing that is probably the same here. And this threshold makes it to where you can take whatever, whenever, as much as you want, and you won't lose health. That's how I'm thinking. That's just how it sounds to me. Alright. Enough strategizing. Let's go ahead and get over here. And this looks like the last question marks that we have, friends. Oh, that went by pretty quick. Oh, we got soldiers over there. Something. And this was what? The cemetery? Fucking grave robin, probably. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Definitely another place of power. All right, well, that one will probably get the Griffin School because... Oh, we got a Wraith on board. Hold on here. Pause yourself, Wraith. I need to prepare. Wraith oil was green. Spectre oil. I think so. Oh, he's level 7. Keep on wheeling. Where'd he go? Did he roll out on me? See you, Wraithy. Alright, let's let's think here. Because Technically we we can do the Griffin School all we want right now. Actually, you know what? We're not taking that many potions anyway to this to matter, but it still does matter because the potion duration time is working. You know what? At level four, we'll get one of these techniques, I think. We'll get one of these, and I feel like it might be the Griffin because that just sounds like it it's fitting our build that I want to do. So now 
while we're at it let's just max this one completely out i probably we probably don't need to but it is at least giving us more potion duration we already maxed our first ability out friends awesome let's go ahead and look around see if there's any graves that we can fucking dig up <laughs> fucking grave robbing here i might dug this one up already Probably nothing. We have something here, kind of. What the hell is that? Maybe it's the, uh... An important person or something? Oh, we can actually read it! Here lie the mortal remains of Florian Veres, who died childless in the flower of his youth, stricken by apoplexy while hunting. May Melatelli forgive him his sins against nature and its laws. That's so terrible. They downplayed his death and said he got struck in. He got killed on a hunt because he hung himself because they found him with his lover, which was another man. That is just absolutely terrible, friends. Which is like the intertwining here with these quests. So we have Claire and Volker in the village, right? And Tomira knows Claire. And Mizloff here. Alright, back to the village. Claire and Volker, the Lord came in, killed them. The Lord's son, Florian, killed himself because he was in the stables with Mizloff. And the stable hand seen them, and then Florian killed himself, and Mislo found the body of the stable hand that actually seen them, and he was the one dead by the scaby dogs. And Tomira's just best friends with Claire. All this is just so intertwined here. It's just the little detail. It's so great. And that was it, huh? Can we read this one? Place of power should draw from it. Listen, Geralt, we're not drawing from it again. Take it easy, you junkie. And it's more... Nothing, huh? Ooh, awesome little quest here. It, it just intertwined and it actually lasted all the way, it seems. Huh. Strange. Markings? Like hand markings to get in? Digging or something? Huh. Strange. Interesting. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Come on, burn the door down, Geralt. Look at all this. You know, I kind of wish we had some cat potion. Can we actually make alchemy here? We can make beast oil. 10% power against beast. Thank you. We need to find this water essence stuff because I'd rather not buy it from Tamira. But if we have to, I guess we kind of have to. And this is a guarded treasure down here. Interesting. I don't know. Oh, I knew it. I just had a feeling. Come here, Spectre. What the hell just happened? What the fuck just happened? Did he kill himself? <laughs> okay. What's going on, friends? Let's get the torch out. Oh. Look at this. Man, that's unfortunate because... That guy killed himself there. Because it might have had something to loot, but it doesn't look like he's lootable. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> Motherfucker walked out the door and killed himself. Gandalf sword? Metalina? Matina blade? I don't see anything. Calvary gauntlets. And... Letter from Witcher Colgram of the Viper School and Serpentine Silver Sword?
Well, that would be that. Hold on. Did we get the steel sword already? I'm pretty sure we did. Let's put B stuff on. Hold on here. Letter from Witcher Krogrim of the Viper School to Ivar Evil Eye, Master Witcher of the Viper School. I have now found all the legendary diagrams want to belong to the order. Certain complications have arisen, however. On the way back to our keep, I stopped to rest a night in a village in the Temerian borderland. The blasted peasants decided to make me into their scapegoat and accused me of kidnapping some beekeeper's brat. They took me into the local lordling's castle for interrogation, during which they found and confiscated one of my diagrams, but do not fear, I will get it back. They did not find the others. I have invoked Temerian common law and demanded a trial by ordeal instead of submitting to the whims of this baronet. My request was granted and tomorrow I am to cleanse the baronet's family crypt of race. I expect this will prove little trouble. Perhaps I will already have returned to our keep by the time you receive this letter. Light the furnaces. We'll have some forging to do. Colgrim. Oh, that's sad, man. Poor Colgrim. So he came here to cleanse this crypt, and I guess that wraith killed him, so that he probably ended up getting rid of some of the other wraiths, and that last wraith that was left ended up killing him. Poor guy. Feel bad for him. I want to look at the journal, though, see if that did update anything at the end of it. A very short investigation, girl managed to acquire diagrams for... Every element of the Viper School's famous equipment. He also learned the tragic story of Colgrim, a fellow witcher who died while trying to escape after being unjustly incarcerated for kidnapping a beekeeper's son. Man, that is still terrible. What a great story, though. A lot of good stories here in this place, and I feel like that is probably the last one, friend. Mm, magic. A place of power. Well, that wraith just fucking killed itself. Though, I can't imagine it would have lasted too much longer. We, he barely had any health. We'd have whooped his ass. But it's unfortunate because maybe he had something to loot and we didn't get it. That's fine. Alright, let's see if we can... You know, I want to craft this stuff now. I wanted to jump into this, but let's, let's do the mill here, right? Let's run the mill. And... You know what I'm going to do, actually? Let's jump into the water. Let's jump into the water and get the buckthorn stuff. Because maybe I'll end up running the river off camera. Because it's going to be quite a lot of swimming. And I can imagine we won't run into, like, fucking a Loch Ness monster or something like that. I mean, we might. Come on in, Roach. But let's at least get the buckthorn while we're here. Because I think we're coming to a head of this starting area here for sure but I don't know what we will have to do probably go back to Vesemir once we gather everything because he did tell us to go get the buckthorn and we'll finish this we'll go back to Vesemir later but let's run the thing and then I want to see if we could actively what's up guys can I steal anything in your camp do they care oh, they're not even caring Oh, was it me? How come some places they don't care? That's interesting. Because they didn't seem to care inside of uh, the first uh, village there either. Oh, Ekahinda? The Cochin? Edwinny Gambleson? Orange, Everloose, and water. Good to come over here, friends. Alright, well, let's jump into the water somewheres over here. Get this buckthorn thingy majiggy. Though it's probably not where I'm going. Let's go this way. Hold on. Let's mark it on the map. Oh, we're fucking way out the way. 
Let's just see though. Oh, there's like plants there. You think that could be buckthorn? Let's just take a chance. It's gonna smell like a week's old carcass, he said. <laughs> it is buckthorn. There we go. We completed all the quests. Talk to Vesemir. Just what I thought. You know, I just had a feeling. Can we go to... Which one is the armor? The armor. Or the weaponsmith. Blacksmith. Let's go up to the Nilfgaardian because I think Willis is the armor and see if we can craft these weapons. Then we will be freaking full force ready, friends. Should talk to Vesemir. Don't all I could to, to talk to Vesemir. All right, well, let's get up to this Nilfgaardian, craft that, and then we will probably end up heading out. And then next episode, it looks like we're going to deal with this Griffin situation. Holy. Are you here to spy or haggle? I'm here so you can craft me some legendary stuff, friend. I'd like you to craft something for me. I would love to give Geralt his haircut. That guy's haircut is just fucking wonderful. We can do... Three silvers. Ooh. So it needed straps. Silver ingot, we got two. And we got this emerald dust. And then... Venom. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and craft it. 104 orange. That's probably worth it, though. Well, that's level one. What is this? Level 13? Oh, that's probably the level we can't... We can't wear it to that level. Ooh, look at that, though. So much better. But we can't wear it to level 13. We ain't never gonna get there. Level 13. Well, we can wear this at level 1. 20% bonus experience from monsters. 10% art intensity and 10% chance to poison. That's a little poetic, isn't it? Viper school and the weapon making it poison enemies. I like that. We got Dorian sword here, which is 40 to 50. Amerian Ponard, 31 to 30 something. Viper is 49 to 61. 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. So is this a Witcher thing, I wonder? Witcher weapons give you the chance to get bonuses from killing monsters with silver and bonuses from killing humans with steel. Ooh. I can see us just wearing Witcher gear the whole time. This other stuff seems pretty irrelevant. At least that's how it feels. I don't know. But it definitely feels like the we need to strive to get this Witcher gear. Not to mention it's a quest to it and it has stories, it seems. So I wonder how the other Witcher gear is going to actually play a part here. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and do this one. And this one does another chance to poison as well. And it's only 56 orange. And easy. Easy peasy. So long. Take it easy, Quartermaster. Let's get our sexy steel sword and silver sword on. We got Viper. Man, let that would be proud. And Viper Steel Sword. I wonder if Letho actually knew these people. Let's look at him. Can we look at him from a distance? It looks like a wolf thing. Really? Did I put the right one on? But can't have. It looked like a wolf little pummel thingy, Majig. There. I can't really zoom into Geralt. At least I don't think I can. But it could be a snake. Who knows? Alright, my friends. Well, now that we got our swords on board, I am going to save here. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to swim this canal down all the way to Vesemir. I'll save over there, and when we get back, we'll be in that general area. Do the last little bit of stuff. There is literally nothing else on the map. I could probably attempt to just run around and see if I can find anything else before we actually head out, and we will see, I guess. But... That is something for next episode. I feel like we we're going to deal with this griffin next episode. Anyways, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. And I will see you all next time. Take care.